This is the 2022 Frankia Integrated 680 Plus. It's got a rear lounge, costs 101,500. That's the basic price. Sorry, sorry, what am I saying? 133,515, seven meters long, 230 wide, and it's got a standing height of 230, and overall height is 311. It weighs four and a half tons. And I think that'll give all around at least I would have thought a ton of payload. At least, at least. Anyway, it's got a double floor, and you can see that through this. And it's got various other carpets down here on the floor. That's to stop people from damaging it as and when they're wandering around. Here you can see it's in the nighttime position with the bed down or bed down. And down here, there's the driving position. You know that's the driving position because there's a steering wheel down there. On either side, you've got a bit of storage. And there's the steps to get up, up into bed. And there's a bit more storage. Should you, should you want to get into bed, you can climb up there. And then this one, you can even keep some stuff in there. So, uh, seven meter van, as I said, or seven, seven or eight. So it's, uh, it's not too long, in my opinion. It's the same length as mine, so it should be easy to, to drive. Rear lounge at the back, and as we can see, you can sort of mess around with the, the chairs to actually put them pointing in a different direction. Another feature of this is the storage which you've got under the chairs. You'll get that in all vans, of course. It's a good place to uh, keep, keep things. Uh, we've also got storage all the way around at the back. And I'll show you how deep it is. There's a bit of a ledge there. Now I like this layout, the dual mobile, to use the Heimer name for it, I think it's quite attractive. Television there, so it comes with two televisions, of course they will all be charged. I mean charge you have to pay for them. Oven, fridge, sorry that's the freezer, not the fridge, that's the freezer, this bit is the fridge. And coming around to have a look at the rest of the kitchen, you've got this lovely moulded sink there, large domestic uh, plug, tight plug, as well as two burners, which is the in thing these days. Two burners spaced far apart from each other. And there's some drawers below as well. It's meant to be for your rubbish. I think it comes with two of them rubbish bins for the end thing two years ago. Or was it three? I think that was for the 2019 season. No, no, it was the 2020. Look at that, got a stack of storage there as well. Glycol there for the Alder heating. And you can take the shelves out. And this will become then a wardrobe. Now, one room I missed out is this one here. So close the door like that, and you've got a large shower. There's the toilet. Stacks of space in here. I'll get in the shower just to show you how much room there is around. Quite nice, huh? Now, uh, I think this three room concept is quite positive, and. Uh, I did mention there was plenty of storage in, the, in there, in the double floor. There was a lady who just walked in, and that means that she's now going to have to marry me, or at least live with me, because it have to be two people from the same household. Right, uh, what I think is good is it's a small shape uh, that's 7 by 708 by 230. Uh, 
that's that's very good I mean, obviously it's very expensive these vans are largely made to order it's not um, as though they're knocking them out on mass on a production line you'd come here somebody would order one and then they'll build it that's how it works and as they're doing that you tell them what it's got to have in it and then they'll put it in it if that's at all possible at the rear you've got this enormous garage with two doors and you can easily get a bike or two or three or maybe four in there and this sort of demonstrates as well the height at which the rear in is actually being uh, raised up in there on the right we've got some electronics so you get fuses your charger personally i'd rather not have it in the garage i'd rather have it indoors but uh, that's me windows all the way around and of course three there four sorry three small ones and one large one in the roof but you can put uh, solar panels around the edges so that is the f-line integrated 680 plus from frankia yeah? now if there's no one in this van we'll go and have a look at this one if there's anybody in we won't this thing is going to cost a hundred and fifteen thousand and a half similar here lounge and at the back there is the washroom 680 centimeters only and that's there's people waiting outside i shall leave i'll have a look at this one as well this one here is one with a german bed layout 680 sg at a price of 127,000 euros and appears to be full of people but they're coming out so there's a look inside not you can see in there right okay i shall walk inside now Six hundred and ninety eight centimeters in length. Sorry, that's inside of German bed layout. I was wrong. Got that wrong. It's got a bed there. It's got this awful upholstery, it looks like it came out of a French museum from the 17th century. And at the back, yeah, not a German layout, but uh, there's the garage. So you can keep an eye on what's going on in the garage. And here we've got storage as well. There. And in the other side, there's this slidey out thing. Pretty good, that. That's where you can keep your beer cans, you see, sort of stack them up and when visitors come around, you can show them off. Here's all the beer I drank this morning. All right, now this toilet is tiny, all right? So what you can do is this, you see, you can make it large by turning this thing here around. This then swings out like that. And now you've got a large toilet. Now, isn't that clever? And there's me. I'll go on the shelf here. Look at all that space. Oh, I think that's really good. This one would suit me if anybody's watching from Frankia. Then uh, you can send me one. I'll be more than happy to drive around in it and live in it. Unfortunately, I found out a couple of days ago that the boss from Frankia doesn't like me. I know, hard to believe. But uh, so I think the chance of me actually getting one of their vans is now actually lower than the chance of you getting one of their vans without payment, that is. <laughs> and uh, there's the very large sink. And there's the two burners. There's the fridge, freezer and oven 
Now, on the subject of not liking me, considering all the good stuff I see about these liners, I, it's hard to believe. But uh, there you have it. Mind you, when he sees the review I've done on the camper vans, the, uh, the Yukon, then uh, I think he's going to hate me. And probably hit me even more when he sees the review I've done on the Mercedes-based motorhome, the Neo, which isn't very impressive either. And it's a Mercedes-based motorhome. Anyway, but these ones at the top end of the range, on a Fiat, are really good. That's the old Fiat as well, so there's a new Fiat to come. The new Fiat 2022 Fiat. Oh, right. Oh, I like. Well, I think this looks pretty good myself. I'd be more than happy to live in this one. It's got what I want. It's got the storage. Oh, the, the first one's got what I want. And actually, the second one would be good as well. Storage, plenty of space up here, which I don't really need. But a uh, table could be a bit bigger for me. But that's me. It'd be it's perfectly adequate for most people. If I could have a choice, I think I'd have like this but with a bar version. I don't know if that's possible or not. A bar version with a sort of a table here, another seat there, and uh, I can sit at the, the, I could I like the table against the wall so I can actually work at it. Obviously, there's storage under the seats as there was in the first one we saw. Oh, I'll point this out as well. Look, it's a flat floor until you get to here, and then it goes down a bit, which is useful if you're driving. So that's that's good, but all the way back, flat floor. Pretty good, very nice. I really like this layout. Right, good, so this is me in wherever we are, wherever we are now. That's Dusseldorf at Caravan Salon with the 2022 range of motorhomes from Frankia. And thanks for watching.